Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I have with me today, James. Say hello. Hello. Because <laughs> I was going to say, say hello James, and you are going to say, hello James, because you do that on every single... Genuinely, uh, genuine, <laughs> genuine, genuine, in. off to a good start. Genuine blue screen moment though when you said that, you when my a... brain went, <laughs> we're going to make a joke now, <laughs> no wait, <laughs> no you're it not. didn't happen. <laughs> James is spoiling himself, because although he has been watching the episode and is about to cough, are you going to cough? No. We've been trying not to cough for so much of this episode that we can't remember how not to do it. Uh, he's very far behind. I mean, so. I might uh, make some strangulation noises and then fall over, but I will not cough. In the last episode, which I haven't uploaded even now, so you could be forgiven for not knowing this, I said that in the next episode, i.e. this episode, I would do a dark run. What does that mean? <laughs> that means... I'm going to say that a lot today. going to be dark. Right. Because I know you, I know a little bit about this game. I've watched like a couple of your episodes, and I've watched a couple of stuff when it first came out on. Um, what's the thing on Steam called? Early release, early Pre access, early access. Um, from some other people, so I know a little bit about it, but I wouldn't say I know any great depth. But I know about, you know, you need torches, otherwise you're in the dark and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So presumably that means this one's going to be extra dark. So I was basically going to take no torches. Right. Why? I thought I might actually take some torches. Is there a benefit to If not you take... don't have any torches, you get considerably more loot. Oh, okay. It's dark. But you're more likely to take stress and you're more likely to be surprised. Yeah. And the monsters hit more, but you crit more. Right. So, I think we'll do a short apprentice mission and take some heavy hitters. Head. Me. So... If you take Edge, you can't take me, right? That's right. That people won't know this. I'm Viz. This in is this Viz this because is this is the that's the internet name that I had when I was fourteen. That Al met yep. me under. Well, that's all right because Kirsty's called Holmesy, and that's the internet name she's had since she was fourteen. Hmm. So there's a running theme there. It's like least. a pedigree. It stays yeah. with you throughout your life. So D came back from her wild bender, so she can <laughs> go back to the top of the thing. You won't know this, but your character has sworn off. Alcohol, <laughs> because he it's had a bad... like real life. That's why I said, yeah. So you're going to oh, fucking go in the between. I'm trying to drag you around, but you keep being dropped on. Apparently, you just can't reorder them here, and I've been—it's a fool's errand, and I've been Einsteinianly imbecilic. So we'll take D, head me, and then one other person to assist. Who should am, we take? I am sad you can't take me. Yeah, it's like, no, no, no. There's the a one time that I'm here for you to record this. Well, I think the only reason I'm thinking that is that you're a level one still. Yeah. But the only other level two we have is Dutch, who has also got rabies. <laughs> <laughs> right. Which okay. is kind of okay, because it just means he hits harder, but dodges less. Oh, Actually, so ACC... Did I not in the... No, 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 I just remembered in the last episode... Ah, I was specking out a party made from the new people that I picked up from the bandwagon. Who all seem to do really well in low light. Ah. More by look than judgement. Okay. So we have uh, a jester who we need to rename. And oh, I remember the jester character. Him there. From previous videos I've watched. So and I remember them being creepy as hell. The only jesters we have are Penelope Puddles and the new one. Who That's is not the name. most intimidating of names. Yeah, Penelope Puddles, Master of Riddles, didn't fit. <laughs> so we just went with what we got. <laughs> so you're in the third position. These are some pretty decent things. I'm not sure about these two, but they're very buffy, you see what I mean? So I'm not going to be can... much help for tactics in this, just so you know. No, nor am I, and I'm playing it. Uh, then we were going to take the new... Unnameable Hellion because we don't have any more names on the roster, unfortunately. You've literally gone through all the people you know. Yes, I have no friends. Uh, who is just less stress damage, hmm. which is really handy. And you can go in the front position and can hit the rear unit with Iron Swan, which is probably one of my favourite attacks. Hmm. It it's doesn't necessarily hit very often, but it's a pretty badass name as well. What, Vivas? No, Iron Swan. Iron Swan, yeah. yeah. Mm. And then we also picked up something else. Is that it? Right, who else have we got? So, Some... so if you're not taking your... Well, you might take him. If you're not taking a Crusader, you could take me. That's true. 
I'm not trying to pressure you into picking <laughs> me, but I am. You really. have Night Owl, which actually I may have been thinking. I can't even remember what I said yesterday when I recorded the last episode. But what you here? Yeah, that's where you go. And then the only thing that I was lamenting was the fact we don't have an occultist, and the occultist is a great healer type, hmm. especially since they are tolerant of your condition. Man, when I slash my character in this cause the complete and utter failure of this mission, there will be egg on my face. You could take one of these plague doctors. They do have a heal. HP below 50%, but... Uh, we need to spec out someone who's really going to be... I mean, it could just go on full on DPS, but I would like to have some... Um, What about... Do you have someone who can, heal. like... Um, crowd control or anything like that like, it may not be a heal but at least it means you'll be able to you know. the only one with the multiple stun, in, stun is in fact the uh, Hellion herself uh, okay. Okay. we could take two Hellions how about that what have you got? quick draw, Eldritch Slayer and tough hmm, maybe not It'd probably take, take a lot of damage but if you don't have a healer and she has that one that does more damage below 50% health that kind of works out I would like to take someone I, with a healing skill just to maybe get people off of death's door. Do you have any decent... Because from what I remember, healing spells, it's like, oh yeah, it heals one point of HP. Have you reached the point where you actually have healing spells that are worth a damn now? Well, we could take, for example, Jekry and increase the value of battlefield medicine. Because all it needs to do is not make you stop being dead. Really. Right. I'm really putting a lot of effort into setting up this mission. <laughs> I want it to go completely wrong. Um, but there's just pick someone to get on with it. What's the rest thing? This is taking a while. There was something involving low light. Oh, I can't remember. Damn. Let's take Jekry. In fact, there's a there's a Jekry has a good double heal as well. I think uh, double double stun. Hmm. No, double plague. That's that's a good uh, thing here. So from the back, not a back position. What about Pete? Pete's a back position. <laughs> Blinding gas. Yeah, that's a double stun. That's what you want. I feel like that was a, a, an insult <laughs> that, that went over my head. <laughs> just felt like it needed saying. Um, right, so we're definitely going to give you. You get the you get the protection, and you get I don't know something that stops you getting stressed out so much. Definitely heard a noise from elsewhere in your house just then. You didn't hear that? No. Well, Could we might get stabbed door. during this view, just so you know. Could have been that cat dashing itself against I mean, the window. I'm not sure how, if we do get stabbed, this will still get uploaded, but... <laughs> yeah, that's alright. Maybe they've got a stun skill. Is this stun charm? Yeah, it stops you getting stunned. This is probably also good. Uh, maybe I should have given them that. Oh, there's a stun skill, that's what we want. Uh, minus 10% stress damage is probably a good idea. On the only person who can heal anybody, uh, you've got a jester. Yeah, there we go. Less bleed resist, but much higher bleed skill chance, and plus ten dodge. That seems good. Let's try and keep it. <laughs> well, so what? What do jesters do? Just remind me. Are they kind of roguey? They look roguey. They have a lot of bleed skills, but they can also do the. Uh, they're sort of a bard slash rogue. Hmm. So they have oh, yeah, some buffs with the, the instrument thing. The musical instrument. Let's give you max HP. Maybe we should give you max HP. Oh, that's good. So you were telling me a little bit about the Abomination character and how I can transform? Yes. I am looking forward to seeing this. Well, if you've been watching the series, you would have seen it. But don't, you've got a lot of catching up to do. Look, don't rub my failures Let's as a friend <laughs> in. <laughs> into your actual face. Prop, maybe? Heal skills. Oh, you've got a... That's actually really good. Take that off and give you a heal skip, maybe. And then you get to keep... Less stress damage is good for your character, because your character is going to be causing his own stress damage. Yeah, because as when well I, as the fact... That's what happens when I transform. Yeah, as well as the fact that we're going dark. So I will take some torches, even though I said it's going to be a dark mission, just because in some situations we're probably going to want to make sure that the next thing that happens is not terrible for us. Right. I'm going to take four. Uh, but mostly I'm going to take maybe some bandages... And I'll take all of this food that's available. Really? Well, we don't have much in the way of healing, but we can eat. Oh, okay. To gain HP. You, from what I remember, again, I'm going to say that a lot. You have, you want to leave spaces for 
stuff you pick up right. get the loot. Mm. But these we get for free, and this can give us more food. Hmm. If we go in the right place. I can't remember where I said I'd go. Ruins. We're going to the ruins, so this should be... I, I kind of like the ruins as a dungeon because it's very... It's not gross. It's just straight up skeletons and humans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which means we're less likely to get... We're more likely to get bleeds than anything else, I think. So is there an end game to this? Is there a win state? I, I don't know if I've ever seen it. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure because in the... <clears throat> my voice. My voice. No. In the, um, shit, what do we need to do? We've got to do 90% of rooms, and yet there's a huge amount of backtracking. Thanks for coming in in the fucking middle. Well, I guess we'll go this way. But it, apart from the torch burning low, there's not a penalty to that, right? If you clear out a corridor, you're not going to encounter enemies in it again. No, but when you backtrack, you do suffer stress. Yeah. Oh, Just well. simply for the fact of backtracking. <clears throat> yeah, there's, there's not so much slimy things that will cause us to take poison damage and things like that. Oh, food, that's really helpful. For a task well performed. <laughs> a task well performed. Well done, uh, random Hellion who has no name yet. Hmm. You successfully opened that bag. Well, this is good to know. There's a battle here and a battle with treasure here. So as this goes down, uh, we've got more stress, more scouting, and the monster surprise is actually one down from the double plus. Right. So it's double plus on full torch. So we're going to get... Uh, yep. Please surprise them. Yep. As long as we're not getting surprised, which is more likely to happen as this goes I on. See. And just remind me again what you meant by a dark mission. Well, I'm not using any torches, so eventually the torch will... So is that something that is in the mission briefing? Like, that's part of the mission? No. It's just something you have decided to yeah. do? Yeah. If we go with more stress, we get more loot, and we were running out of money, and I thought, why the hell not? Of course, I there's see. no units at the back, so... I guess you just start plaguing something. And there's no... That's really good. There's no cooldown between battles, is there? What do you mean? Like, you can use a move as many times as you want. You just have to wait for the cooldown in each battle, right? The skills themselves don't actually have cooldowns. But they tend oh, but to... There's, there's criteria for when you can and can't use them. Yeah, so in this case, yeah. you can only... In fact, I've forgotten that would move the Jester forward. Luckily, you can do the same things from basically this position and this position. So I'm just right. going to manacles this thing try and do damage. That one's going to die because it's got four damage per round and there's only two HP left. And that was dead. So that was, that was cool. I fight with chains. I like that. I don't really need to do anything. So we might as well kill it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. There's no, like, um, you have to wait for moves to, you know, you can only use it four times in a dungeon or anything like that. No. Only the things that you take with you are limited of use. Hmm. I'm not going to open that just in case it makes one of us flip out, basically. So now we've got... Uh, we're taking way more stress. We're going to be surprised, but our loot and crits have gone up. Right. But they're more damaging and more accuracy -ing, so maybe we should have brought a healer, but, you know, you're here, so... <laughs> you can't have one. I'm really holding out for a... Uh, for a plague... No, Look, for an occultist. I didn't say oh, I was pressuring you into taking me. <clears throat> You literally said that. I did <laughs> in not. In every possible way. Did not uh, expect yeah, you to cave so easily. <laughs> we will probably want to AoE these. We've got a lot of blight amongst our fellows. What's blight in this situation? It's basically poison damage. Right. So damage over time. Four rounds is actually a good amount of time, but. I don't want to wait four rounds for these two things to die because they're already causing a lot of stress and the torch is causing us a lot of stress. Mm. Now, what I'd forgotten is that you have a move forward attack when you're transformed. Right. So we can swap places quite a lot, these two. Oh, I could just, like, give us stuff. Does that do an individual? I think so. So we can buff an individual and get rid of one of these two stresses, so that's pretty good. Are you likely to believe? No. So... I guess we just stab. <laughs> uh, as much as I hate to be, you know, inelegant about it. When in doubt, stab in the face. Right, we can blind and guess these two, and we've got a good chance. That's what my football coach always told me. Yep. <coughs> That's how we do footy in this country. Yeah. Some of that uh, Brazilian hair, waxed and shorts shit. It's fucking <laughs> no, mud and... Keep oh, a razor blade in your shit. That's not good. hard. Because the monsters are critting as well. Uh, actually in damage. Don't think it increases crits. I'm glad we critted, no, stunned these two because they're doing all the actual straight up uh, hmm. stress damage. So we could transform you, everyone gets plus eight stress. That's a stun. Plus eight. 
Yes. There's only like ten mm, pips. With down the there. Uh, ten each. Oh, I see. But with the double plus stress here, that's probably going to be way more than eight. And you don't have a move forward at this stage. I think I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, do it. It's a free action. It's not like you have to then. Yeah, it's actually twelve. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But now I can slam. I will get shit out of that one. Send it over there. Nice. And, and then, then presumably that limits the things that that enemy can do in that position because uh, it's yes. probably designed to be up front. Yeah, so it won't be able to do some things. It may have some things that will bring it forwards and like wildly attack them at the back, but they tend to have less um, less accuracy in that respect. Yeah. So this is pretty good. But I think we'll just get another one of these on here. I wanted to have as much blight as possible. Six per round. It's only got eight left. Right. That's actually really good. So yeah, that, that did a little bit of damage but moved it forward. Yeah. Which is kind of what we were expecting. And it's a bone soldier, so we can't bleed it again. So <sighs> Can't inspire and tune someone at the front. I might just buff everybody. Which I think I should try and keep up. Yeah. I have been playing such that the first round is just a buff up round. Yeah. Um, but I've yet to determine whether it's hugely uh, effective. Let's just kill this. Another Thank you. It's a very low hit attack. It's at 85 accuracy, but it's very high damage. Mm. And it does it to the thing at the back, which is amazing. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm. That's not good. We only need to explore 90% of rooms, which is actually, I think, slightly better than ooh, the enemy. Uh, than having to do 100% of room battles, because 100% of room battles, you're basically guaranteed to do all those battles. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in this one, we could theoretically skip a battle. Uh, let's transform back. So, if you finish the battle of transform, does he stay like that? I think he transforms back? automatically at the end of right. thingy. So everyone got a little bit of stress back, but this thing's dead. So what I'm thinking is you can uh, heal yourself, stress heal yourself now, and let that thing die when it gets its turn. See what I mean? Yeah, and we can okay. also stress heal ourselves here. Mm. And these two, basically everyone's got some amount of stress heal, except this one, which only has actual heal. Mm -hmm. But it can cure its own blight or bleed. They can cure their own blight or bleed. So, you know what I'm uh, we might as well <laughs> okay. have 2 HP. Perfect. And that's um, heal 1 to 1, so that 15% is actually helping. Okay. Yeah, do it again. It's going to die whenever it gets a turn. So I'm just going to keep healing myself. I'm sure. just using this turn as much as possible to get ourselves to undo the uh, damage that we took from that actual uh, combat in the first place. So you can lose some, uh, some, some stress, that's really good. 10 stress down is actually a really good attack. Yeah. And that's dead, so you don't get to do your de-stressing, but look at all this shit. So we've got plenty of food now, so we can just start eating. And that's two. Actually, that's amazing. Unlock strong box. Could be trapped, not likely to be. I want to save the key for a more... Does food take down stress as well? No, but if you don't have food when well, you get... there's nothing like real life. <laughs> yeah, oh fuck. That's what you need to bring on these adventures with you. It's just like a bag of Maltesers. You... Lucky son of a bitch. Wealth beyond so measure. you have, not you Warned personally, but Vivas has. Uh, so Dacnomania is something I wasn't sure what it did. Yeah. Turns out it causes this character to investigate stuff. It said obsessed with killing, and that's with killing people, so she has gone in and just used yeah. that. Oh, I see. You don't get to choose whether she will open it. No, out she or just not. did it. So now we're at lowest light nearly. I think there's one more. I mean, I could just. There we go. It's now pitch black. Right. So we're going to take a shitload of stress, but we have a lot of de-stressing things. Yeah. So Vivas might flip out completely at the end of this. But I don't really care. I mentioned early on in the series that I don't want to do that scumming up thing where we take someone, stress them out, get them really damaged, and then just dismiss them. Right. Because it feels like you're cheating the system. So you could just do that. You could just stress someone out and then never use them again. Yeah. And you can send them away and then get someone else. Right. What's the purpose? Because surely you want to level up your characters. Well, exactly. So you keep doing level one dungeons with the riffraff that come in on the coach. Right. Do a low light mission like this, get them as stressed out as you care to, and then send them away, keep the money. Right. And then you get a new, fresh set of people who have no stress. Different set of skills, but you haven't invested any money in these ones. So... It doesn't really matter, you just have a, a meat grinder of people with no particular skill and no particular value. Right. 
which is a bit it's not really the way I want to play the game yeah. so I'm going to try and keep these people alive but I'm fully expecting to have to send them all off for recovery yeah right so so I mean if you do that but then send them off for recovery with the idea to bring them back that's not scumming it up. No, exactly. What I mean is, these people, I'm expecting to have to pay for them to be recovered, to have stress recovery. I'm expecting that the amount of it, money that we get from doing this will more than outweigh. Right. So I'd like to get rid of these arbalists. I do like the Iron Swan ability. Hmm. And no one got... Uh, these two are blighted. Only two damage, but it's a good amount. <sighs> wow. And you... Now here's the question. Do we continue to try keeping people on top of their HP. Do we just try and kill the things that are causing us? Well, it seemed like your tactics in the last round worked, which is to blight things up a lot, do a lot of damage in the early rounds, and then sit out the rest of the blight, taking care of your the effects of what has happened so far. Like we could re-blight this one. This is going to do four, where it's already got two, so that'd be six. It's two rounds for that one to die, but it has got a go. Right. It, it has a turn, whereas we could... Can you stun it? Maybe with this character. No, can't stun it. We don't have a stun option left. How do you know the turn order, by the way? You don't know the order, but you know who has one left by this pip here. Ah, okay. Like, the order is somewhat determined by your speed, so in general, we're going to be slightly after them, depending on their speed stats. Which is actually quite low, so we can expect that these two might go last. Um, Having s in which case, maybe we should blight this one. And then try and hit it. No, it's going to go anyway. So your speed is seven. What? <laughs> Ouch. So they did get to go, which is not my favourite thing. Interesting. Well, that wasn't bad with her, though. I've forgotten that the barbaric yelp is a two-person stun for the front two units. So we could have had them all stunned. Ah. Which is my bad. But I think we'll do a battle ballad. It's the last turn of the round. I think it's worth having all these buffs for the accuracy and crits, especially since like our crits are going to be huge when they happen, and there's a lot of them. Yeah. But we're getting way more stressed out. Uh, sing for absolution, Jim. No. Oh. You don't want to hear me sing on record. <laughs> right, Timmy. Timmy is going to lead these two? I think so. A crit. Sweet. So these crits are actually going to de-stress us slowly over time as well, which is really useful. Oh. Um, wow, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, so this is 2 plus 2, which is 4. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> so these two are dead, so we don't need to attack them at all. This one has had no damage done to it, and that one is not bleeding in any respect, so... <laughs> what do we do? Good question. I'd like to stun this one, so I'd like her to go first. So I think what we do is we try to stun... If, we, if this hits, that should take some damage. Well, maybe it doesn't. No, we did stun it, so they don't get a go. And then you do get a go, which is exactly what I wanted. So you can do that. Which causes damage to both of those, and now everything is stunned. So, enjoy your stuns. These two are going to die. Nothing's going to hit us. And I'm ready. And they don't leave a corpse if they die from damage over time. Right. Which is really lucky. Because uh, otherwise I'd be in a bit of trouble. So you can heal yourself. I'm going to do, like, try and top it off anyway. I'm just going to move you back. I thought this was a move back, actually, because it's supposed to sort of be a calm down sort of effect. But yeah, I think I'll just move you back, because we all had to go before they did. Which leads me to believe that if we're looking... Ooh, Singular that's really strike. good. Um, we'll still get another go. Oh, no, it's, not, it's not the case, alas. That's not too bad. These debuffs will be gone by the next... Uh, I mean, you do do some damage. Do you so do any damage? Why can't you use Iron Swan here? Just because Iron Swan will only hit the rear, the rear one. Okay, there's nothing back there. Right. We could Wicked Hack to just get rid of the only one that's actually got a turn. I kind of want to. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> I've been saying that it's usually better to get rid of a unit than to try and scum up the round and get. Like, yeah, because like I said, like your heals don't seem that great, so they're not. They're never so going to completely to offset the potential damage. damage you could get. Yeah. Now, if we could actually get these crits, we've been promised. But that was a thousand gold, right there. Wow. 
just from that, uh, just looting that. Thing. Is that a lot by the economy of this game? Well, it's about as much as we spent so far on just this mission. Right. It's probably enough to send one of these. Their, their stress is really low, considering that we've had this much stress from previous missions. Yeah. Just from the enemies hitting hard. So this has turned out to be a really lucky mission, as it happens. Uh, we should put our units back in order. Which is that. No, no, no. Stop moving now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and I will make sure you're eating. Just gives everyone two food. So you note that when we had the hunger pop-up, hmm, we had to eat, or we would have taken stress damage. So I'm going to keep some food around for that. But we did get the benefit of healing. If you eat food manually, do you not get that hunger status pop up? It does. Uh, it's a random, random tick. In fact, it can happen twice in a row and has on <laughs> on some playthroughs that you'll see. Try to avoid reading books. Books can cause you to take a lot of stress. Ooh, well dodged. Nice. Uh, books can cause a lot of stress, but they can cause good virtue. So it's kind of a risk. What's good virtue do? Just like these um, quirks here, it could cause a, a good oh, quirk, or it could I just see. remove a lot of stress, or it could cause a negative quirk, right. depending on a dice roll, I suppose. So I'm going to avoid those, but these packs are very rarely um, better than trap. Trap! No trap. So, do we want to prepare for this? De-stress? Maybe not. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what? This what is a hell is very that? difficult fight. Okay. I think we're all going to flip out and possibly die. Have you met one of these before? I've seen Northern Lion deal with one of these, and he dealt with one of these because he went into... There's a, a, a curio that he activated and this thing came out of it. So we're going to do this. Well... We could flee from this fight. Well... And that's why we have Iron Swan. <laughs> so, you... Can what you happens if your characters die? They've gone. Dead. Yep. Perma death. So try not to. We could retreat. But I don't think we can necessarily get past this Yeah. This tile. So I guess we do this. Just give it a couple more rounds before you think about retreating. Yeah, we could all run away and keep the money. Oh, that's bad. We can cure our own blight and bleed and heal one HP. I think I'd rather start moving this unit to the front. No, you still gotta go, so you can move back. What's your move? Doesn't tell me. I think we do this. Because otherwise that bleed that blight is gonna cause us a mm. problem. You can move one. I will have you do. Because the only other thing you can do is bolt new vapors. Oh jeez. Ow. That's a lot of uh, stress right there. That's even more stress right here. You're blighted, that's really bad. <laughs> I need to not be blighted now. Uh, you can hit this. I think I'd like to do a lot of damage to this. Yeah. I'm going to ignore the high stress things. <laughs> You'd like to, but you didn't. No, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> in general I'd like that to take damage. Oh, it's going to move forwards, but then yeah. Hellion's going to get the back. It's really not what I want. We're just going to be playing cat and mouse here, so... We'll do that when this unit's just going to have to keep moving backwards of its own accord, and then the next round that we do that same thing. Don't shuffle us for fuck's sake. That's fine <laughs> to some extent. Oh, I did move it forward though, so this one's now got a different set of things. It's the comic of that dog in the house on fire. This is fine. I'm okay with the way that events are unfolding. Powerful. We have been so damn lucky with this flip out shit. Oh, is that like a berserker mode thing? No. Often, more often than not, this is a negative effect, and this character will be worse. Is that result. caused by stress? Yeah, when your stress hits 100, your resolve is tested, as it said. Um, maybe we can do this. Oh, so her stress hit 100? Yes. Oh. You resisted the stun, but you did not. Very helpful. Uh, Chris, could you... Uh, <laughs> please, not uh, die? Yeah, just don't die. Could issue a bleed upon me. Ooh, a crit is very good. But that one dodged it, which is no use for me. In a minute, we're going to be able to uh, start applying battlefield medicine to that unit. Which is so when this happened, everyone lost a bit of stress, which is really, really useful. Yeah. 
keep hitting this thing. I know we're not doing a lot of damage to it, but it needs to go away. <laughs> now it's back at the front. Which means these two are at Visual at Death Door, so stop it. Sorry. You can just... Stunned. You're stunned. Yes. Okay, good. So you're going to Battlefield Medicine, guys. Hooray. I feel... You may have to run away. Marginally better. Uh, two points around, or... Five damage is nothing. This is shit. I, I didn't want <laughs> this fight to ever happen. Uh, bleed is okay. You don't have a stun resist, so I could try and stun it. You can't do that from the... You can only do that from the front to the back. Which is right. annoying. From the front to the back. That's how it says you should wipe. <laughs> <laughs> that was on those uh, not what I Andrex. expected you to say. <laughs> Andrex thingies. Your rage. Uh, who's rage against this machine? Six to eleven. Please crit. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not dead. All right. It's the best I can give you. I may be dead soon. Someone's gonna die. And now the true test. Hold fast. I might have to transform you back and start healing yourself. Shit, how is everybody at Death Door? This is outrageous. Look, we're gonna have to, uh. Did we bring any band? We did bring bandages. Oh, you're not bleeding anymore? Okay. Uh, eat? No? Okay. Don't eat, fuck off then. I guess we just keep stacking up the bleeds. Crit. Almost worthwhile. <laughs> you. Uh. I think you heal yourself. You're at Death Door. But you're the one who can heal, so you can be healed. If you die, everyone dies. If he dies, we'll call someone else. Tim. Now you're selfish, obviously. So this unit can now start doing things without my consent. Right. So let's move you back. In a position where you can actually use your thing. I know you're bleeding, shut up. I kinda wanna just do oh, this. Iron Swan. Surely. Cool. Yeah, I suppose we should actually. Three to six. We don't have anything that will reduce the protection on this unit. Right. So it's taken a lot more damage. And our crits are not fucking doing anything at all. Ah, Tim's already dead. No. Well, that means we don't have to heal him. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. The first of many heroes has given that all. This is episode 12. Oh, well done then. I feel like maybe this is my fault. <laughs> I don't know if we could have taken a healer on, well, even if we'd taken, you know, an actual bona fide healer on this mission. On the brink. It's gonna I be think, a problem. yeah, this would have always been a hard fight. You are gonna be masochistic, so you might actually start bleeding yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. I think we should, uh, should we so run away? Things like masochistic, do they keep that? Is that one of Until, the Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, Pete's dead. Until the end of the, uh... The dungeon, yeah. So we're gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> so that sends us back to. That's the stuff for those two. Uh, drops. <laughs> well, sorry, Pete. So we're back here, so we can't get past that battle, basically. Right. That was worth a try. See how much we brought back. Ignorance of your enemy. So do you think that thing showed up because you were running it dark? I think it's possible. Hmm. I don't think we benefited from that. But I think if we'd taken a better party, we could have done well. So, yeah, that's your fault. <laughs> Vivas has become... Sorry, shit. Pete. I swear to God I'm and not Tim. just trying to kill off my competition. <laughs> it's not really competition. Those are the only people who will actually go with you. Yeah. There is a great horror well, they were. beneath the manor. Okay. A crawling chaos. Yeah, the whole destroyed. transform into a werewolf thing was not as powerful as I had hoped. Well, the only time we used it was against enemies that we couldn't beat. Yeah. Really. Well, Tim and... Tim has only just arrived. <laughs> and has now uh, departed. departed. So we only have... <laughs> and we for once have people in our graveyard. There's uh, an apprentice plague doctor against a shambler sycophant. And a vile shambler. So those are very much otherworldly things. Stuff yeah. that actually comes out of uh, the yeah. darkest dungeon in the first place. That's very Cthulhu-esque. Yes. Well, the backstory is that they were digging around 
the cellars of the mansion up there. Well, I think it was underwater, actually. I forget. I may be confusing two things. Um, but anyway, they opened the gate to the Cthulian realm. Yeah. And now they're all flooding the places. So we happened upon one, probably because it was extremely dark, yeah. and I didn't know that could happen. And now you do. And now I do. Oh, look, it's light out here. Everyone can chill out. So now we have a very stressed out brand new Hellion, who I'm kind of tempted to just get rid of, because <laughs> that was such a fucked up run that I uh, I got rid of the people I didn't want to die. Anyway. Why, is, why am I flashing? Because, because you are afflicted. Oh, you keep it. I thought you didn't keep it. But you're going to meditate for like two fucking weeks. So you do keep that affliction. Interesting. Mm. You need to get rid of... Maybe I can meditate, scurvy. meditate it away. So let's get rid of this scurvy, even though it's going to be expensive. Ah, oh, not that expensive. Well, that was a good experiment, but it didn't go to plan. I think my a plan A of taking a strong team of level twos would have been a good idea. Maybe two healers. <laughs> but we well, don't no, really no, have no. one. I'm going to jump to my own defence here and say that you did change your mind halfway through setting up and say you had a plan to take people that had things related to low dark. Yeah, low which light. was really annoying because many people would have done more damage and taken less stress in low light, and yet they completely failed to. <laughs> but no, they were doing well up to the point that we hit that thing. I think yeah. any team you had would have struggled against that thing. I think you're right. And Having... also, I think I should have just retreated as soon as I saw it. Yeah, probably. But I wanted to give it a go. We... Well, giving it a go is fine. I think maybe we should have retreated too much of a, go. <laughs> a couple of turns earlier when things were at death door. That's okay. We've now got room in our roster, so let's see who else we've got. Fucking occultist. <laughs> what was I just asking for? One and I guess we take another hound master. What's a man at arms? Do you have a man at arms? Yeah. A lawman and his Holmes is a man at arms. A bond forged by battle you, uh, and yeah. bloodshed. No. You can go to the top so I can find my level. Oh, do you know what? I just fucking saw my level. Ha. Huh. Dutch is actually level 2, which is surprising because I've only taken him on a couple of missions. So he must have got a lot of XP from those somehow. I'm not quite sure how the XP system works, hmm. but it does. Well, I'm level two, am I? You're level one. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. This is your arm. Your stabby is level two. But yeah, everyone here has got level two stabby and shieldy, and also Pete's dead, so I don't even know what he had. Presumably he was level one along with the rest of us. He was level two. Ah. It's not a hugely high level, is it? And it's two. <laughs> well, I think on the next episode, we'll try and make up for that by actually taking out maybe these four people and just beating the shit out of something because I feel like it's time for some catharsis. Yeah. To... Also, don't let me have any influence on the team you'll take. Well, I won't because I'm going to take <laughs> two religious people, <laughs> so you're not allowed. Yeah. So uh, and then later on, we'll look at leveling up our new people. I think I will keep Vivas around because, as I said, I don't want to just take him. She did pretty well. People. Yeah. So uh, it's a good character, the Hellion. I'm a fan of it. Hmm. Sweet. Iron Swan. Well, thanks everyone for watching as Viz sabotages the next episode. <laughs> uh, right. So, Isaac? <laughs> I would play Isaac, but we've only got one headphone. Oh, yeah. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye.